Well, good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on August 13th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Checking out here the last 48 hours of images. Thank you, Solar Dynamics Observatory, for these images of our sun. As we do have a creating Earth-facing coronal hole. Small sunspot region coming in. Not too active though. Looking at our sun under a different light, different filter. Here you can see the plasma ropes and filaments dancing off of our sun. Amazing. That rope on the left side was probably about the height of four Earths, five Earths. Amazing. Our almighty and powerful sun is still very quiet though. So stay aware and prepared. But we did have a little bit, little spike last night. Solar wind stream spiked up to 700 kilometers per second at one point last night. Also watching our magnetosphere as it was affected with this solar wind stream. Wow, look at that. So this is showing the wind stream when you see it start to turn dark red like that. That is some very fast wind speed picked up to 700 kilometers per second momentarily, but still. So our magnetosphere was affected last night. You can see here the pressure as well. Something galactus, sorry, something galactic slapped us last night. Creating a large bow shock here on the magnetosphere movie for pressure and as well wind speeds. Let's look at, look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes from around the world. And we are still seeing a small earthquake swarm throughout parts of Alaska and still minor earthquakes, California. Largest earthquake here the last 24 hours was Mexico with a 5.5 Tonala. As well, Chile with a 4.5 and South Chile with a 4.3. Les Bronze, New Zealand with a 4.9 and a 5.2. And as well, this 5.5 South Indian Ocean off the coast of Australia and another earthquake in Australia as well. That has been increasing over the past couple months. But I wanted to point out here, this 5.5 in Mexico is the exact antipode to the 5.5 in the Indian Ocean. Let's look at the storm coverage. As we do have three tropical storms to follow, Tropical storm Henrietta will not last long, expected to die out in the next 48 hours and not become much at all. And there's another area of interest behind it. We're watching. And then of course we have tropical storm Carosa, <clears throat> who is still a very large tropical storm But that is it, just a tropical storm. Luckily, it is not increasing its speeds or category. It was projected to turn into a one or a two by the time it hit Japan. But it looks like tomorrow and Thursday making landfall as a category one. Now, something I wanted to show you here as well. This is the last seven days visible image across North America for our weather. 
and watch over the United States as there is a large high pressure ridge dominant just spinning over and over day after day creating severe thunderstorms across South Dakota North Dakota Colorado Minnesota day after day evaporation that high pressure ridge will not move and it's not allowing any systems to come in on the west coast of the United States put this into motion here now look in the north part of North America and watch as a large low pressure system comes from the north it looks eerily similar to a polar vortex as that large low pressure center spins over the Hudson Bay locks itself in there watch for cool temperatures to spread across the land in the next week or so did you enjoy your summer five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteor Mike overlooking Henrietta you can see here not much life to tropical storm Henrietta North America watch for extreme thunderstorm event throughout southeastern United States <clears throat> right from the Gulf to the Atlantic provinces of Canada in the coming days as that, those cool temperatures sweep down and cause some extreme storms across Canada you can see the large low here very organized center of low heading into the Hudson Bay now that is where the polar vortex locks itself in to bring cold weather for winter so we're going to be keeping an eye on that over the next week or so see how long that low pressure center hangs out in the Hudson Bay watch for thunderstorms throughout Alberta the next couple days and as well Europe as a large low pressure system comes from Greenland in the coming days watch for a cool down there as well as this is a very large low pressure system forecasted area here for Corosa you can see there is a lot of moisture associated with this tropical storm so it still is an extreme weather event just not packing the winds that can be ever so devastating to Japan watching here too another large low pressure system heading into the Aleutian Islands watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout Russia and the Aleutian Islands into Alaska Australia not much to talk about for weather still fairly cool southeastern parts of the United or southeastern parts of Australia and Tasmania not much to talk about in Africa either daily evaporation storms South America same thing Argentina expecting another storm to come their way they've been receiving a storm every other every other day Stay aware and prepare at Argentina. God bless humanity. Thank you all for watching today. Please stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning dew. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.